Hi, I'm Mark, and this is Let's Vibe, the channel all about crystals and our feelings. So in this video, I just, I wanted to talk about manifestation. Um, I do have a crystal with me. It's my golden phantom selenite. Um, and selenite can be useful or helpful when manifesting, but I'll get to that a little later. What I wanted to talk about, what kept popping up in my mind was the idea of beginner's luck. So I can't remember when I first tried manifesting something. It, it, I feel like, I mean, it was around two, it was in 2018 when I really started getting into crystals and the metaphysical and started learning about shamanic practices and just learning to connect with spiritual energies um, for the first time. Well, maybe not the first time, but um, learning to, to connect on a, on a different level, a higher level, a deeper level. So it might have been during that year when I first tried manifesting. Um, but it also could have been earlier. But anyway, I don't have any clear specific memories of my first time, but I do remember um, experiencing frustration um, shortly after learning about manifestation and um, learning the basics of it. And I do, I know that the first time I did it, it was very easy. I probably manifested something, I know I manifested something small you know, maybe it was a small amount of money, um, you know, like $50 or $100. Um, or just something that I wanted at the time. Um, like a new video game or something. Um, But I know it was easy. It was very easy the first time. And then after that, <laughs> I ran into some major roadblocks and felt a lot of frustration with manifesting. And I really didn't understand why it was so easy the first time and then all of a sudden so seemingly complicated and difficult. And I've been thinking a lot about manifestation lately because I've been definitely the last four or five months, actually longer, the last six months, I was, I've been working on manifesting some big things. Um, some big changes and it has been it, it has been a journey um, I've been learning a lot about and experiencing a lot of divine timing you know oftentimes we we want something in a specific time frame and Sometimes that our own time frame is not in alignment with what source 
or the universe has in mind. But the last six months have just been a very interesting, challenging, challenging but also enjoyable period. Um, learning to move with the flow in a much deeper way. And also just experiencing frustration, frustration with the timing, you know, not understanding what's going on and why are things taking this long. And, um, but it's, you know, I, it's definitely got me thinking a lot about manifestation just in general. And you, it, it, it's easy to come across books or videos on YouTube that that say, you know, manifestation is simple. And at its core, it really is simple. Uh, manifestation is an alignment of your energy with what it is you are desiring. It's an alignment of your mind and heart with whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. And so that by itself is, is very simple. And when it comes to beginner's luck, um, you know, I spent some time thinking about why is it so easy that first time? And I have my own theory about it. So, I believe what makes the first time so easy is that usually when someone approaches manifestation for the very first time as a beginner, at least for myself, you know, I wasn't really invested in it because I didn't fully believe um, all of the spiritual aspects of it. Um, I wasn't, you know, I was still very much in the 3D world. I was still very much in the mindset of, you know, you have to work, you have to struggle in order to get anything that you want. But, you know, when I was introduced to manifestation, I, I did, you know, decided to give it a go. And um, I set aside my ideas of, of what was real or not real and um, just really approached it from a more playful state of mind, which is exactly what you need when you're manifesting. A playful state of mind is perfect for manifestation. And it's easy to have that kind of mindset when you're doing it for the first time because it's like you know well what do you have to lose it's it's pretty simple to do and so you know why not give it a try and of course because i was in that state in that energy whatever i was manifesting whether it was some money or an object um it came quickly and easily. And, and it came so easily that, you know, it kind of made me think, was that even real? Was this just a coincidence? Um, did I really manifest it or was it just, you know, did it just happen to show up at, <laughs> at that time? All those kinds of logical uh, explanations went through my head. So I manifested 
whatever it was. And then I started to think about manifesting again. But the second time or the third or fourth time around, all of a sudden, it was no longer so simple. And I think what happens is You know, it, it, it's easy to, to play around, just to be playful with it that first time. But the second time or third time, when you start to realize that it is real, that there is this power or ability to bring in what it is you're, you're desiring, all of a sudden it becomes more serious, so to speak, because now it's not just some, you know, funny woo-woo type thing. Now it's, it's, a, it's the real deal, so to speak. And I think what happened was that triggered my ego. My ego kind of woke up to the reality of manifestation. And that presented all kinds of problems, all kinds of blockages, and suddenly manifestation was no longer so simple because at that time I still didn't, I didn't realize the energetics of it all. I didn't realize that my playful energy, my playful attitude, and the fact that I wasn't really that invested in it because I didn't fully believe that it was a real thing, I didn't realize that that was the key to manifesting. And so my ego then wakes up to this new possibility, this new reality, and all of a sudden, even just the question of what I wanted became a big deal. <laughs> and I think it's a big deal for a lot of people. What do you want? Especially if you're being presented with the prospect of having whatever you want, because that's Manifestation, it, do, it, it doesn't matter what it is that you're desiring. Manifestation, the principles and energetics of manifestation are always working, um, no matter what it is that you're wanting. But because my ego was now so involved in, in, in it, I, I felt myself like freeze up, like what what should I ask for? Um, you know, there were a lot of things, especially back then, a lot of things that I greatly desired, um, like a relationship, a, a romantic relationship, um, money, um, a job that I felt empowered by a, a job that really f actually fit me very pressing desires came came up but also there was all kinds of other voices popping up in my head um, the voices of my parents the voices of friends peers um, At that time, I was still very much enmeshed in with the energies of my family and friends. I, I wasn't, what I mean by that is I was very concerned with, with their wants and desires, especially in regards to me. And so that's, that easily very quickly that clouded my own desires because I, I, it was very easy for me at the time to think about my own desires in relation to other people. 
my own desires in relation to my mom, my own desires in relation to my friends. You know, what do they think? <laughs> I mean, it makes me laugh now, but this was very serious. What do they think? What do they want for me? Or, or what are they expecting of me? What would they say if I had this? What would they do if I manifested that? It was a mess. <laughs> it was such a mess. And so something very simple immediately became incredibly complicated. Um, all of my blockages, all of my emotional and mental blocks came to the surface. And, and that was really the, the beginning of the journey of healing and uncovering all of these blockages, addressing them, facing them, facing all these fears around fears around relationships, fears around love, fears around money and work. I had some incredibly deep fears and wounds around these subjects, especially with money and work. Work especially was like a dark cloud that had followed me around for many years. There was so much shame that I had to clear out around money and work and around love. And, and yeah, that, that, uh, I really had to face all of that in order to continue manifesting things. And it was, it was messy and, and it wasn't like I wasn't able to manifest anything because those blockages came up. It was more that, it was more like a long process of learning that whatever I'm putting my focus on is what's manifesting. And that really is the truth with manifestation. It's not simply the good things that you desire. It's everything. Whatever it is we put our focus on, whatever we give our energy to, whatever we are in alignment with, whether it's something we consider good or something we consider bad, we are manifesting it. And that was a hard thing to learn, um, really hard, because the amount of focus and the amount of energetic momentum that I had going towards all of the all of the painful, scary things that I had experienced in life and the amount of focus and energy I was putting into the things that I didn't want, <laughs> it, was, it was a battle for, for a little while. Um, learning to shift my focus, learning to reinvest my energy into the things that I actually want versus all of the junk that I don't want. It was a whole process, um, but, but that's how I see beginner's luck. It's, it's that moment when you're not really fully invested because you don't fully believe in it. Um, but the moment you see it happen, the moment you see manifestation happen and realize that there's something to it, that's when the challenges come up and and I, I just I felt like talking about that because um, you know everyone knows about <laughs> that book The Secret by uh, Rhonda Burns and I've flipped through that book I've, I've never been a big fan of it I don't really I don't really like how she markets it or, or how she, I mean, she definitely 
introduce the world or a huge part of the world to the concepts of the most basic concepts of manifestation. But it really is like your first steps into it. And she doesn't go beyond that. You know, she, her book does not go beyond those first steps into manifestation. She does teach some of the basic critical parts. I, I feel like she, she misses or she, there are some aspects to manifestation that I feel she does not um, address at all. And I, and I feel like that book is missing some things, um, particularly with energetic alignment and the emotional uh, feeling aspect of manifestation. I, I, I feel like her book is very focused on the visualization and the affirmation part of manifesting, which is definitely very important and good, but there's more to it. But what's funny is if you go on her website uh, for The Secret and you look at the testimonials, it's, it's pretty much all testimonials of that beginner's luck, so to speak. Not to say that none of, none of their manifestations were real or, or that they didn't actually manifest. No, they did manifest, but it's that beginner state. It's like that very first time. And, and so it, it just made me think, you know, like, well, what about afterwards? You know, what about after that first time? Because for me, at least, it was just like walking through a minefield of blockages and, and intense emotions and emotional attachments and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, um, I brought out the golden, golden phantom selenite because selenite, um, can be helpful with manifesting. Um, and this is something I only recently learned. I didn't know this about selenite when I first started working with it, but selenite can be helpful because it cleanses your energy and it's very good at cleansing, um, especially cleansing lower vibrations and heavy energies, which is very much needed when you are trying to manifest something that you really want. Uh, you want to clear out the heavy energies in your aura. But I spent a little time meditating with this stone and another way that this selenite can help, it doesn't have to be golden phantom, but selenite can also help clear the path to your manifestation because manifesting, well, the easiest way to manifest is by getting into that flow, getting into the flow of energy and getting into your own intuition and learning to follow those subtle energetic cues. And selenite can help with that. And it can clear your energy. It can clear the path forward and help you get into that flow of energy. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to share that, share my theory about beginner's luck. And um, I encourage you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, leave me a comment or question down below. If you've experienced that beginner's luck yourself, if you've had a similar experience with manifestation, um, I'd love to hear about it. Um, and if you do feel called to donate and to support the channel, I've got my Venmo and PayPal also in the description box. And as always, Thank you so much for vibing with me.